exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> That's so confusing. I've been watching it myself. I was just like, All right, I forgot I'd done half of that stuff. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's, I mean, you're so young and yet that's been an eternity. All those things happened to you since yeah. what age? 15. Um, so I've been on it for quite a long time now, seven years. Yeah. yeah. And when, when, you, when you look back at the, those kind of stories, can you believe that so much has happened to your character in that time? No, she's I changed mean, a lot, hasn't she? Yeah, she has changed. Because, you know, when I first started, I think my first scenes were with Kelvin. I was in detention at school. And now, <laughs> you know, I've been engaged three times. I've been married nearly three times. I'm married once to Andy. Um, I think I've been pregnant three times. <laughs> I finally mix. had a baby. So, yeah. It's well, really you finally had a baby, but or you will be having a baby. Tell us what's, what we're going to see now, because there's this whole complicated surrogate story and yeah. Grayson and the gay thing and Purdy. And yeah. You now want to make your escape, really. Yeah, I think Katie a few weeks ago thought, I'm going to have the baby for myself. I'm the best parent. Um, I'm going to look after it. Then she finds out that Grayson is definitely gay. He has been sleeping with one of Katie's friends. He's been trying to tell you for ages. I know, I know. <laughs> she manipulated so easily. Um, so she finds out he's gay and that he's treated Purdy really badly. So she changes her mind and she wants Purdy to have the child. Um, but Grayson turns up at the hospital at just the wrong moment when she's handing the baby over. So, but she doesn't. Katie doesn't end up with the baby. She doesn't. So, no. Oh. And how have no. you felt about that? Because you're a mum yourself. How old's Mia mm. now? She's three now. She's three last month. So uh, have you been able to relate in any way to that story of I the have. childless couple and well, having a baby? And... Um, and the surrogacy thing, no, not really, because I was in a completely different world mm. to that. I think the birth, probably, yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that was very kind of difficult to do. I had to lose all my inhibitions and just go for it, really. It was the back of a car. No. You know, I had one yeah. leg on that headrest, one leg on that headrest. <laughs> Cameraman, in, you know, right in front of me, poor guy. Um, but, yeah, I, I just really had to go for it. It was, um, it's very rare that you get to do that, you know, scream at the top of your lungs uh, on the soap. I, I Usually hope you never get, get to do that, thing. really, in real life. No. I mean, that Fingers was, crossed, yes. Yes, yeah. dear, dear, dear. So, your own Mia, three, yeah. your... 22 or so, so yes. when you're in your mid-30s, you and her are going to be best mates, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to be like sisters. Yeah, I think when I'm kind of 37, she'll be 18, so... Gosh. Yeah, it's very scary. But actually, it's good. But yeah. It's an interesting way to, to look at motherhood, isn't it? I mean, mm. a lot of people may say, is there a lot of pressure on you being such a young mum, or yeah. do you think and you look ahead and you say, well, look, there's going to be incredible benefits when I'm quite but young. To be honest, I mean, when I was younger, I thought, I don't want kids until I'm 28. Um, that was my age, 28, yeah. marriage, kids and things like that. I was actually 10 years, <laughs> 10 years <laughs> out, but anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just been such a brilliant experience. It really has. And Mia's just adorable and she's just, she's so lovely. Hard. So how does that work with yeah. you? Because it's long hours at Emmerdale, isn't it? Yeah, uh, my mum, basically. Aww. Yeah, she does everything. And I've got a really great family, mum, dad, sister, grandparents, who all kind of chip in. Um, I live on the same road as my mum and dad, so I can just toddle up to up there to So you mom. can lead a relatively normal life, bearing in mind that the profile and the attention that you get. Yeah. Can you can you leave the set behind? You don't live near the, the set? Or? No, I, I still live in Bolton, where I'm from. I commute every night so that Mia kind of is stable at home. Um, she can always be there as opposed to coming with mm. me to Leeds. It's great, really, because as soon as I leave work, that's it for me. I don't... You know, I don't. But stay then you've still there. got to learn lines and things, and I'm sure when Mia was teething mm. and whatever, she would never be the wee <laughs> problem. So how yeah. how do you find that situation? You you've got this big script to go through, and you know she's yeah. playing up the way babies do. Well, the difficult thing is when you finish at eight at night and then you get back at nine o'clock, and you know Mia's already in bed, but you're so exhausted, and then you've got to be up again at half mm. five. And Mia's one of those; she'll sometimes wake up in the night as well. So it's, do I go to bed now, learn my lines in the morning, what do I do? It's trying to fit it all in, really, and I have, I've had to become more organised mm. with everything. Are you good at learning lines? I am now, yeah. Well, it's my job, isn't it? So, yeah. I'm but, you know, but I'm only asking, because we meet a lot of actors who aren't. I hate learning yeah, lines. Yeah, really I've got a photographic it. memory, so, but it has to be highlighted in pink. That's, yeah. that, it has oh, to be. Interesting it's in yellow look. or green. <laughs> it's, it's strange. I was speaking to the director. Is that a girl thing, do you think? I don't know. If it's yellow or green, it doesn't go in, but pink. No, oh, I always use the pink marker. Yeah, that's true. That's where I'm like going wrong. That's why nothing goes in with me, you see. <laughs> and also, congratulations, because you've been nominated for the, the sexiest female, haven't you, in the inside I wonder why that so. was. Did you not oh, know that? No, I didn't know. <laughs> yes. OK. Yeah.
Yeah, you're great. What's that for the Inside Soap Awards? Oh. Yeah. Oh right. Mm. Oh, I, I had no idea. Well, I hope I had that no wasn't idea. a secret. I don't think I, I don't think, think it was inside a soap party or something, but I was working, so I didn't go to that. That's probably why. But is it know. is that uh, you know it's very nice and flattering, I'm sure. But is that kind of a pressure as well to when you go to those kind of events having to look so good because it's you know um, they're always splashed in the papers, aren't they? The pictures of the dresses and yeah, who's from what soap, who wore what. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, to be honest, it's just a good excuse to me because I don't get to go out that often <laughs> to get dressed up and do my hair and makeup and go out. But to be honest, I go for comfort a lot of the time because I think, <laughs> right, if I'm going to wear a long dress, I can't dance. I'm going to wear a really short dress, I can't get in and out of a car. <laughs> Mid length, you know, yeah. not too low and all of that. So, so true, isn't it? Men have yeah. no idea. They no, put a dinner they suit have on. No idea. Yeah, so and you've got, like you well. said, you've got to think about how you're getting out of a car being photographed, how you're going to yeah, walk down the red carpet. And, yes. and not be falling out of the after show party after. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sally, final thing. Uh, we, we were talking about we were talking earlier in the program, the start of the program, to the lady who wrote the screenplay for Mamma Mia. The yes. Film. Yeah. Um, and you have a Mia. Yes. Little Mia. Have you been to see the film? Yeah, I went last week um, with my friend Jen. It was it was brilliant actually because we don't really like. Abba that much. How many every person we speak to yeah. these things? I'm not really that keen on Abba, but, I've but bought now the soundtrack. you love it. I bought the soundtrack. I drove to work yesterday playing it and dancing and singing along in my car <laughs> um, and really enjoyed the whole film. I mean, Julie yeah. Walters was just so yeah. funny and Colin Firth was brilliant. They were everybody all brilliant. Was. Meryl yeah. Streep is unbelievable yeah. and that winner takes it all scene. I just oh, well, I won't spoil I it in case people haven't yes. seen it but it was very good. Well listen we are so looking forward to tonight. Emmerdale seven o'clock tonight and see what happens with that little baby. Yeah. It's lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Say hi to everyone up at the set. I will you? do.